What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to remove your AR handguard, your just your regular old GI circular handguard, or ovular I guess, and install a two-piece quad rail. This one here is just a, um, it's really, you know, more of a no-name one. Just It was about $55 or so on eBay. Um, what it comes with is it comes with the two pieces and four of these little set screws. I mean, it's not as nice as, you know, some of the free floats out there, but, you know, it gives you options. And it's cheaper. One, the tools you're going to need, well, um, you definitely need a set of hex wrenches. You can also use torx wrenches if you, if you have those, but I would suggest the hex wrench. Uh, let's see. So it looks like a number six. I don't know if that means anything or not, but I guess that's six millimeters for this particular set. So, uh, first let's clear the, um, weapon, make sure it's safe. It's easier said than done, one-handed. See, there's nothing in there. Okay. Weapon is safe. Now, the, another tool you're, you don't have to have, but I really recommend it, is an handguard removal tool. These can be had for like about 12 bucks on eBay. You can find them, you know, different places, but I really recommend this. Whenever I first got this handguard in, I, I tried putting it on without it. It was a real pain, but it's doable. But save yourself some time and trouble and just go ahead and pick one of these up. First of all, to use this, let me put the camera on the tripod here. I'm going to try and do this in front of the camera. Let's see. Okay, with the magazine removed, what you're going to do is you're going to position the handguard removal tool so that this tab is in the magazine wheel. And you're going to slip these bars over the delta ring. Let me turn the camera up a little bit. There we go. And then you're simply going to squeeze these together and pull down. And then you should just wiggle these pieces out. Let's see. See how they just kind of slide up under there. And there we go. The handguard is removed. That simple. Alright. Now that the um, original handguard is removed, we're going to install the new handguard. Basically, I would start out with the top piece, just so you can go ahead and get the gas tube lined up, because you want to have that gas tube running in this groove right here. You can see that. So, all you're going to do is take the top piece of the handguard, and the side with the lip right here is going to go into the teeth of the delta ring right here. So, we're just going to pull this down again. And slide this in, and just like that, top piece is installed. Now to put the bottom part on, we're going to do the same thing, just hold, hold the other piece so it doesn't fall out, because we don't have our set screws in there, so you're just going to slide it in. Slide it in like so, and then let the pull the the um, handguard removal tool up, and let the delta ring just slide back up, locking the piece in place. It's hard to tell on camera, but these are pretty secure already without the set screws. But we're about to put those in. So let's sit the weapon down. I'm just gonna sit it on my knee here. And we're just going to install these set screws. The 
This part's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go ahead and show it to you. Like I said, um, I'm not sure if this is a universal number or not, but six is what it says on my hex tool here. So if you have a six, use it. Just gonna rotate them clockwise. And don't go ahead and tighten them all up at once. Just get them kind of loosely tightened, if that makes sense. And then we'll go back and tighten them all together. Because we want them to be about, we want them all about the same tightness all the way around. in and go back and retighten them. And I'd get them pretty snug. Don't tighten them to the strip. Just get about maybe a half turn really tight. I'm not really sure whether it really matters, but this makes me feel better. And that's it. We're done. We now have our quad rail, our two-piece quad rail installed. Like I said, not quite as nice as the, um, free float rails but there's no permanent modification to the rifle you don't have to remove the uh, gas block or front sight here it fits right over this little this little locking ring whatever you call it it looks nice and now we have the ability to mount you know whatever accessories you want to put on there simple as that And like I said, all you need is your handguard removal tool and hex wrench. That's it for now. If you have any questions, just leave a comment, shoot me a message. I'll try and get back to you. Thanks for now.